All right, let's get into it with Tyler Sullivan and Rick Spielman. Uh, guys, a season hanging in the balance now here for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers who dropped back below 500 as it sort of felt like things had turned back in the right direction. Uh, maybe focus back on the football side of things here for Tom Brady. But you suffer a tough loss in a really important spot of this season, Rick. What does a loss like this mean for the Buccaneers and their playoff hopes? Well, everybody was excited about the direction Tampa Bay was going. They had that big win against the L.A. Rams, although the L.A. Rams aren't very good this year. Then they go all the way to Germany and play a Seattle team that was playing very well. Mm -hmm. And, in fact, they ran the ball on a Seattle defense that was maybe playing the best defense in the NFL over the past four weeks before that game. When they're able to run the ball – control the clock and let Tom Brady make plays uh, in the air based off how they're running the ball, I thought that was going to be the formula on how they're going to win games. What I've seen today was, and just like in the past, Tom Brady's record this year is two and five, and I now I believe two and six, uh, if he throws for the ball over 40 times mm -hmm. a game. Today, he had 43 attempts, and I, n I understand it went into overtime. But in order for Tampa to get back in this, now they're playing in a really uh, soft, or I guess maybe the worst division in football right now, if you want to put it mildly. Uh, so they still have a chance to win that division and get in the playoffs. But they're going to have to be able to run the ball for them to be able to compete and do anything if they do get in the playoffs. Yeah, putting the NFC as soft is, is very much putting it mildly. It stinks. No one's any good. The, the winner of that division, it seems like they're just going to be there by default. And, and that includes the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who just seem to feel like they can't seize the opportunity. Yes, it felt like they, they turned the tides of the season, beating the Los Angeles Rams in that overtime, or not that overtime, but that last second win. You go and you face a Seattle team that has been cooking on all cylinders. You're able to beat them abroad. I think the bye week is the worst place time for them this season because it felt like everything was moving and then all of a sudden you get a week off and you're kind of sitting on your hands a little bit. I would have liked the Buccaneers to be able to kind of continue that momentum. So for me, I think that don't sleep on that bye week being a pivotal moment for them. And you talk about not being able to run the football. Yeah, they had a big 35-yard run in this game by Rashad White. But other than that, this team averaged 3.2 yards per carry. That's just not going to be good enough. And so when you can't run the football and you really can't get anybody else going other than Chris Godwin, I think Mike Evans only had a couple of catches in this game, was really a non-factor for them throughout, throughout the afternoon. That's what's going to kill you. Obviously, the defense gave up that bad touchdown towards the end, but ultimately it comes down to the offense. You can't punt on your final six possessions, including overtime. You're just going to lose every single football game that you play if you do that. Yeah, this Bucks team, despite the loss, uh, still sitting there atop that lowly division. Uh, Tyler Sullivan, Rick Spielman, we appreciate the insights as always. And here's a look at some of those struggles for Tom Terrific, who really has been anything but this season. Uh, first six plus loss season since 2009. So a decade plus of sheer dominance, whether that be in a Patriots uniform or a Buccaneers uniform in his first career or his second career or his third, I guess this is his third. The third hasn't been great. Uh, fifth career loss in overtime, 13 and five in such games. Also his first career loss went up seven points in the final two minutes of regulation. The Bucks and Tom finding new ways to lose. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.